When you log on to this system, you can go ahead and look at overview of students, and typically people like to look at the overview of their schools or your students. When you log on, you're going to see at-risk levels. You can go ahead and click on the I, and the I will take you to a page where you can see the breakdown of students and their at-risk levels. So you can see if you hover over a particular line, you can see that this school has 109 students at risk level 11 or much higher. You can also see why the students are at risk and what's going into their at risk level. So right over here, you're going to see what goes into that algorithm. The algorithm that we use is based on three categories, also referred to as the ABCs of at risk or early warning indicators for high school graduation or early warning indicators for academic success in school. These three categories are attendance, behavior, and course grades. Very easy to remember, the ABCs of at risk. To see who these students are, you can go ahead and go back to student lookup, go to view list of all students, and here you'll see all the students in this school and their levels. So for example, this student is at risk level 15, Abigail. We take the mystery out of the equation for you. We tell you exactly why Abigail is at level 15. Uh, you can sort this list from lowest to highest, like you would in Excel. So we can see this student is level 23, 22. You can um, also filter down to a particular group of students. So if you wanted to see who the most at risk students are, you can click the filter page right over here and click over here. And you can go ahead and click on all of the at risk levels that you are interested in. So you can see in this school, 17 students are 18 or greater. You can click on more of these students. So now we have 76 students are at risk level 15 or greater. Again, who are these students? We want to know their names. We can go back and here are those 76 students. We know exactly who our, our highest at risk students are. You can even download this as an Excel spreadsheet if you'd like. Click over here and then you would click export data. If you would like to filter to a particular school, you can do that as well. You could click on one of these schools and that would show you the list of students within that school who are most at risk.